Greetings and salutations, JMB fans. JMB here with another one of my favorite rants. Today we're going to talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I guess you guys want to know why the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Because they're ever since the 2014 movie came along, it's become a big follicle fat to us. Let me start you off with some um brief um history. Now, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was created by this guy here. Well, one of the guys. This one, this guy's name, um... What was this guy's name again? P Peter Lard. And accompanied with him his friend Kevin Eastman. This guy right here. Now, back in 1984, they created, um... Four brothers by the age of 17 to 13 to fight crime in Manhattan against... A Japanese lord and his minions of mutants and abstract expendable nin <laughs> abstract expendable ninjas known as foot soldiers or the foot. Now, the, now, according to my calculations, it's mostly not true. They're mostly protectors of Manhattan, which is where the teenagers live, which the ninja turtles live. Let me give you a brief. <laughs> Some ooze or some mutagen fell on the ground, poured on some four turtles, became became human super science guys of global proportions. And there you have it. You get four nin guys who learn ninja from a, a exiled a nin ninja master who just turned into a rat and became champions of justice, lean, mean, green fighting machines. <laughs> Known as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the this is what the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles look like, <laughs> created by Michael Bay. Now I'm gonna have to give Michael Bay a big middle finger of justice on them. First of all, Leonardo looks like um he's like um a beat up football player from the <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. Raphael looks like he wants to kill somebody. Michael Angelo looks like a black man who turned green and. Donatello just kind of looks like a rejected Transformer. No offense. No, I guess you guys want to know where they get the names from. If you don't know, if you don't know, you don't know your history. They're named after famous Renaissance artists: Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, Sistine Chapel, Last Supper, Mona Lisa, um, the the birth of Venus. You know, you know, you know all the nine. So if you don't know other names like that, you don't know your history. Turtle Power started in 1984 and, and continues for almost two decades long. There have been cartoons, there were um, movies, TV shows, commercials, crappy franchises, and all that. But let me tell you who's my... F let me tell you a brief summary of each turtle. Starting with Leonardo right here. Now Leonardo, he's the leader of the group, okay? He may be a good leader and all, but sometimes he lacks poor judgment. So sometimes he, you can trust him, or something like like Raphael here. But nonetheless, he's still a good leader. Donatello, he's a very great in machines. But if he's so great in machines, how come he couldn't use those machines to defeat Splinter? All, most of the machines are used to escape from the bad guys and not fight them. But either way, I like this bow staff. It's a good weapon. But uh, I would, I would, I would just encourage him to make more weapon, make more devices that will help defeat the enemies, then evade them. Now Raphael, he's a tough guy. He loves to fight. I know that. But back in the cartoon days in 1984, they made him as a smart Alec instead of a mean guy who wants to be alone, doesn't want to be messed with. He'll punch you in the face if you say something bad about him and so forth. And then you got Michelangelo, the party dude. Back in the day, back in the day, he keeps saying, dude, radical, awesome, but he's just a kid at heart. But in the comic book, get this, he's, a, he, he's, a, he's mostly the, the most dangerous of the group. And they proved that during an episode of Ninja Turtles that was on the Nickelodeon version. Now, here's my, here's my question to you. Who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Because I got some spoilers to tell you. Coming either in 2016, teenage, Michael Bay is making another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And guess who's going to be in it? Let me, I'll give you a hint. Hockey Mask.
J.C. Jones, the Sports Warrior. Now this is the Casey Jones from the um, from Nick Lund version, which is not my favorite, but it's kind of accurate because they made him look like um, Scarecrow or some sort of goth kid. But Casey Jones is Casey Jones. This is the original Casey Jones they used in the comic book. Now Casey Jones was the first vigilante that that aired in the comic book. Well, there were other vigilantes in there, like Yusaki Ojimbo, um, Napoleon Bonafrog, and others. Now this one's from the, um, supposed to be from the part, the 2007 version, but they changed it to make it accurate. Now let me tell you something, guys. Why would they let the guy who played Green Arrow be Casey Jones in the next movie? If it was up to me, I would let, um, I don't know, the dude from True Blood play K Casey Jones. Cause he's got the body for it. He's got he's all muscle, but I don't, I don't know. But it, it's it's his, it's his, it's um Michael Bay's movie, so I'm gonna let him let him take it on. Let him do what he wants to do. And that's my final thought on Teen Ninja Turtles. Good show. It's been here on for three days, case everybody loves it. Most people hate it, but turtles are turtles. Here's my question to you. Like I said before, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? What do you think of the new movie coming up? And what are you? What is your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles year? Well, my year was like um, 2003 when four kids made it. But even though it was four kids, it was still a good show. Leave a comment behind. I'm going to do a lot of rants, people. Too many rants. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to stop doing videos for a long time. I'm going to do videos if, if I have the chance. I'm going to do dance videos. Um, we bro you just saw Tyra Dahmer. You saw. You just saw Tyra Dahmer. You just saw um, that jerk, Naughty Norman. You're gonna see him again this weekend. Make sure you go to my Facebook. Make sure you go to my YouTube channel. Make sure you go to Twitter and say I want to watch JMB Tanami videos. Because if you do, good things will happen to me, and good things will happen to you too. That's all I have to say about Ninja Turtles. Thank you for watching and good day.